like whenever i made any failure or i face any failure i didn't stop hard work that was the best skill i have mm-hmm. i got selected for that internship from there my success has started really i divided my day into two halves and the first half is for training for the dxc company and next half is for code beta exam tcs interview was some toughest one because uh, till now i entered the many interviews but tcs was toughest one i felt like that uh, so uh, they know i am hard working for this programming but they don't sure about i will crack code beta when i crack my code beta and my family has felt very happy for that and that was the best moment sir welcome madhavi thank you so much for joining us today and uh, being part of this edis champ series right thank uh, you sir i'm so grateful Okay, thank you so much. Um, so we are just going to have a, a usual conversation. I want to know and I want to tell everybody, you know, all your juniors will be watching, you know, about your journey. So if you could just, you know, start by telling us like which college you are from, which branch you are from, and what companies you finally got placed in. Let's start with that. Okay. Sure, sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Madhvi Kancharla, and I'm from Pitaparam. I'm presently studying BTEC fourth year in the stream of Electronics and Communication Engineering, and I'm from Kalkanad Institute of Engineering and Technology uh, for Women's College. And till now, I got placed in DXC and TCS companies. Very nice, very nice. And can you just tell us your experience throughout the placement journey? Like, there'll be some companies you got selected, some companies you might have got rejected. Can you tell us like each company, how you applied, and what was the story of them? Yeah, actually, my story begins from my second year because at the second year, till now, second year, I don't know much about programming and all concepts. So I started learning programming from the Edis platform. This is the starting point of my journey, and started learning Python from the Edis platform. And there, at the first, I st- I struggled much, very much. And after that, as days goes on, and I developed my logic building. and i'm quite good at coding then then and then so my first failure i still remember that which was in fitq because i prepared very well for that exam but still i didn't clear it because it's my like it's my nervousness because of nervousness i didn't clear it there i made some mistakes like in in fitq exam time was very precious so we just focus on the time instead of the answers you got So if we didn't get any answer for that question, then we just move to the next question. But I did some wrong there. I just kept my focus on just one question. So I don't want like even I know the next questions. I didn't have time. So that was a big mistake I made there in PTQ, and I lost the chance for in PTQ. And like whenever I made any failure or I face any failure, I didn't stop hard work. That was the best skill I have. So I started learning for other companies. and there after that in my third year i got a wonderful opportunity which was b21 internship and that was also from edis company so they provided this opportunity and i got selected for that internship from there my success has started really and after that i get into that internship i learned a lot of things like apart from technical knowledge i learned many things like time management perfection many things after that internship uh, we have a first drive in our college which was dxc company my college has provided some like training from the talent show companies so we started trying on the talent show but at the same time we have code beta exam so i have to manage the things i didn't have much time to manage both training and the code beta because both are different these are from aptitude verbal like that this dxc company exam and code beta is fully based on programming only six questions programming so i divided my day into two halves and the first half is for training for the dxc company and next half is for code beta exam so mm-hmm. i got that code beta module for free from the edis platform and i just started practicing those questions only i didn't uh, get into any resources or anything i just practiced those questions on the edis platform only but the thing was everyone is used to say like code beta programming was very tough and it involves dynamic programming like that but what i absorbed is at that time i don't know the dynamic programming basics so i just left that concept away and i started practicing on remaining topics like arrays uh, for loops or uh, conditionals i started practicing on those topics only because if i start dynamic programming we have less time and in that time i i don't practice that things also and this dynamic programming also so i thought i will left that topic and i started learning all those remaining topics 
and I started practicing the thing on the edis platform and I practiced very well very well and in code beta exam it's like everyone is used to say like the first question you got was the simplest one and the level of complexity will increase but the thing in my exam has happened was really different because I got the most toughest question in the first question only mm-hmm. and the third question was easy for me so it's like my suggestion was if you get into any exam just check those six questions and if you feel anything is like some somewhat simple then go to into it so that's what i did i read all those six questions and i got familiarity with third question so i just came to it and i solved it so like that it will happen in kovita and after clearing kovita round one and i got an interview opportunity from tcs company and they are uh, like TCS interview was some toughest one because uh, till now I entered the many interviews but TCS was the toughest one I felt like that because they don't concentrate on your technical knowledge itself they will concentrate on your management skills mm. so there uh, we have three rounds in that a technical round, HR round and a managerial round three rounds are in the one interview only so in TR round I made it successful but managerial round was somewhat difficult for me the sir has asked me like like everyone when we say that project is the main important thing that was most important one but you need to know some things about that like they have asked me what are the difficulties you have faced in your project and tell me how you overcome it this question I got from the managerial round luckily I have situation where I use my management skills in my project so I gave that answer to the sir and sir has impressed for that so like that it will goes on like focus on the things that are there in the project and also focus mm. on the things like uh, how you made it and what are the difficulties you have faced before going to the interview if you prepare like that it will be helpful sir and HR round so, was not like so just going back to the technical round what are yeah. the concepts around which they have asked you majorly in the technical round okay sir uh, in my resume I have uh, mentioned that I'm good at C and Python languages so firstly they go they goes to C language and they have asked me all the concepts all the basic concepts from keywords to from data types keywords to structures unions pointers everything everything they have covered like they will ask you one keyword like volatile keyword or like type of keyword like that they will ask you and tell and ask us to tell about that and i got those questions like i asked to tell about type of keyword and for loop syntax and they gave me two programs to write it and show it to them and they have asked me about union structures and they have asked me about null pointer and dangling pointer like those questions I got and after completing that C part they goes into python part they have asked the basic questions like uh, python is case sensitive or insensitive like that or um, what is a linked list what is tags used and operations you will do on stacks and queues like that and uh, that's it tr round is that's it and after that what was the sorry what was the two coding questions that you got in the tr round those are the basic questions like they used to write me program for uh, division multiplication addition and subtraction in one program and okay. next one was palindrome okay very nice very nice and what are the kind of questions that the hr asked you HR was pretty normal like he have asked me about my info like uh, tell me about yourself that was the basic question and next thing was uh, in my resume I, I mentioned that I have participated in some powerpoint presentations at various colleges so he has asked me tell me about one of the PPT you have mentioned what are the topics you have mentioned that's it and how you managed it like that that's it sir and the most pretty questions like do you want to relocate like that very nice so you know in all these companies that you got into like especially code beta what do you feel like which are the best features of the edist platform that actually helped you prepare for it i already mentioned it i started my career with the edist only and uh, i started learning from the fundamentals of python module pack. before starting that programming like module i didn't have no basic knowledge about python i started with zero knowledge on that and like edist has Edition has given me all the topics. They have included all the basic concepts in that. Like what are the most important concepts we need? They have included. 
so from base if you get into basics they will include all those things like from format strings to loops and the searching and sorting techniques like that everything will be there so at first it's like very hard for me to complete one coding question and i already mentioned that it took me two days to complete that question yes. so after that as i practiced well so that so what, what helped you improve like is it what like did the mentors help you out did it you were discussing a lot with your friends what was the reason for your improvement actually i said like no of no one of my friends are not actively participated in edit at that time at my second mm-hmm. year because they don't have awareness about that like properly mm-hmm. so after that uh, if i have any questions i used to ask some of like we have leader boards on it so we can know who solved those questions on that so if i have doubts i will ask them unknown persons i don't know anyone so i asked them so they used to tell me and some and sometimes i used to ask the mentors mentors in the edis platform and they used to help me a lot very nice very nice so when you finally got into you know any of these companies what was the reaction from your family how how did they react they feel very 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 happy for us because they know that i'm a hard working person but they don't know that i'm this much good at coding because i i already told you that from an easy background uh, it's by it's quite complex for me because uh, those subjects are not in our curriculum so we have to manage that academics and this programming too so uh, they know i'm hard working for this programming but they don't sure about i will crack code beta so when i crack my code beta and my family has felt very happy for that and my kite management too that was the best moment sir amazing i think so glad to know so you know just as you have gone through this journey many of your juniors are going to go through this journey soon what message would you want to give to your juniors right now if you are good at something like uh, if you are good at some concept like python if you are good at python and if you know something about it don't leave it unfinished complete it and after completing that start learning new things in that program just uh, like many of my friends i know uh, they have started java and after coming to know that it is very complex they left that java and came to python and now they are struggling that which is python or java because they are not comfortable with two languages so my suggestion is just focus on one language and if you are good at that then go to another language like that i i follow the same rule uh, because i uh, i start python language and after i felt comfortable in that language i goes to c language so the thing was if you are good at one language then apart from the syntax if you know the implementation then in any language if you know the syntax it would be very uh, easy for you so My suggestion was just focus on one language, and if you are good at, then go to next language. Very nice, very nice. Thanks so much for sharing that. I think most of the students ask me which language to start with, and I also tell them start with whichever one you want, but stick to it. Don't you know move yes. around. Yes. So, so thanks, thanks so much for sharing that. Mm-hmm. We'll have a quick uh, rapid fire round right now. Okay. So I'll ask you some okay. very basic fun questions. Yeah. So let me know. Are you ready? Shall I start? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Okay. So number one, what's your favorite programming language? Python. Python. Great. Uh, what's your favorite dish to eat? Paneer. <laughs> Paneer. Okay, very nice. Yeah, uh, I'm big fan for that. Big fan. Nice, nice. Okay, so mention your favorite book or your favorite movie. Um, I goes to my movie. Fida was my favorite movie. Fida. Okay, nice. Uh, who would you say is your role model? My brother was my role model. Wow, nice. Okay. And lastly, what's your favorite pastime hobby? My hobby was uh, two are there. One was drawing, and next one was crafting. And I really love drawing, Max. Nice, nice. So that's just to let everybody else know also that you know all the people who crack in the companies, they also pursue their you know interests. And you can see Madhavi has a lot of interests. She's not just about coding. She has a lot of other interests as well. So yeah. So that's it, Madhavi. Thanks so much for joining in. So glad that you Thank joined you, and sir. took out time for this. Right. and uh, yeah i i'm sure it'll be helpful to all the juniors who are listening here as well so yes, thank you so much thank you thank you for this great opportunity for me <laughs>